Hope you're watching, Ben. <laughs> so it's Washington DC to kick us off. Free kick here for Stonewall on the edge of the uh, centre circle to be taken by Dan Bounders. They uh, send a few of the bigger guys forward. But uh, held away comfortably by uh, the Unicorns. Oh, an area there by Uto. And the Unicorn strike is through and he's missed. And we have a, a 2v1 here on the left hand side for Unicorns. And a shot and well come across there by Ben Biggs. So, corner to be taken by the left hand side. Out swinger again. It's a better delivery, and it's headed on, but Scott Carroll's there to collect. <laughs> oh, James Allen now. Through on goal. Great save by Jim. And it's a goal for Stonewall. Pretty much out of nothing there. It was a defensive mix-up by Unicorns. James Allen, as he's been doing for so many years at Stonewall Football Club, off the last man, capitalising on an error, slotted it past Big Jim in goal, and Cubs have taken the lead in the final. Well, there really looked to be no danger there, to be honest with you, but two of the centre-backs from, from the Unicorns seem to leave it for each other, and what James Allen does so well is he gambles on the mistakes of a defender, and it's that instinct that he has for a goal, the predatory instinct that he shows, and the composure in front of goal and slightly against the run of play, Stonewall 1, Unicorns nil. Let's hope now we can settle down, get the ball down and build on this. We have on our left hand side, Gus, the chairman of IGLFA, who's just joined us. Just observing what's, uh, what's going on. So Gus, um, 1-0 to the Cubs in this game, but generally, um, in terms of the tournament, I think it's been a, a resounding success, and we've had some challenging issues, obviously, to deal with, spe uh, especially involving the weather earlier on in the week. But I think overall, um, it's been organised very well, the fields have been in very good condition, and everyone's had a fantastic week. And certainly on behalf of Stonewall Football Club, we'd like to thank you and IGLFA and the Gay Games for, for putting this on. Um, you're now on Stonewall FC TV, so would you like to say anything? Uh, thank you for the kind words, but I think what's uh, improved most of all uh, in the last uh, 20 years of uh, 25 years of Iglefa is the level of play. I mean, uh, Stonewall has set a, a, a bar, a high bar, in which all teams uh, are trying to aspire to, and it's it's it was clearly seen in all the games, especially in Division One. So. Uh, Thank you for supporting Iglofa for so many years and uh, continuing to, uh, to keep up uh, <laughs> the level of play. And I think uh, Gus makes a very good point there, actually. Um, I think for the first time, certainly I've been uh, managing the Stonewall First team for 12 years now, and we used to go to tournaments thinking there's maybe two, three teams that can win it. As a shot comes in from Andrew Weiser, but easily gathered by Jim. Um, I think there used to be a case where maybe two or three teams could win the tournament realistically. And when we got to the quarter-final stages of Division 1 in this tournament, I looked at the draw and I thought, you could actually make a case for all eight teams. And I think the fact that when you looked at the results in the quarter-finals and semi-finals, there wasn't a single scoreline with more than two goals between it. And I agree completely with Gus there that I think there's a general levelling of the standards and a lot of improvement uh, from the American teams, from the European teams, uh, and I thank Gus for the kind words about Stonewall FC, and obviously we will continue to try and raise that level, um, because, you know, the more that we improve, the more the message gets out there amongst the wider community about the standard of LGBT football. Thank you, Gus. And it's actually Stonewall's uh, first corner of the game now to be taken by Jamie Feldman. And you see Biggs and Turner going up from centre-back. 
Again, this is an area that Justin's really worked on. Great delivery in. Oh, Adam Turner was there, but oh, the referee spotted an infringement. Oh, we have James Motley just arriving, smelling of alcohol on the right hand side here. Yeah. <laughs> just for those uh, who want to you want to know what he looks look like. away from your screens now. Stonewall FC TV. A professional secretary, if ever so, there was one. Well. Let's just back to the game quickly because we've got a set piece mm. here. A long throw to be taken by Dan Boundy. Um, who gets some remarkable purchase on these things. And there it goes again, launched into the box, but uh, flicked away by uh, by one of the Unicorn players as they now look to make a counter-attack. And they've actually got a one-on-one -on -one situation here on the left-hand side, but it's brilliantly read by Uto. And that is that excellent fullback play. To see the danger from one side of the pitch and to actually come across and, uh, and deal with it. Uh, a classic fullback play there by Uto, who has had an exceptional tournament, actually, for the Cubs. Stonewall now with the ball about 30 yards from goal as Rush takes a shot and there is James Allen again capitalising and it's another goal for James Allen and it's Stonewall 2, Unicorns nil. It was Rush with the play on the edge of the box with the slide rule pass, it came off a defender and once again James Allen showing predatory instinct slotted the ball past Jim in the Unicorn goal and that is the thing you get with James Allen. If you put him up front, he will get you goals. He may not have the legs he had a few years ago, but you do not lose that instinct. And it's Stonewall 2, Unicorns nil. And what an opportunity now for a gold medal for Stonewall FC. Great play there from Rush though. Good vision to spot the run. But again, James Allen capitalising on what was going on in the box around him. I mean, what a fox in the box this man is. And he's been doing it for Stonewall for 10 years. He scored more than 30 goals on tour for this football club, Alexis. 30 goals on tour. That is quite incredible. You have to look at probably only Ian Drain, who's got more than that, across the you know the three teams of the club as a tour goal scorer. But suddenly the chests are pumped out. Suddenly there's confidence in the play. Corner here for Unicorns. They're about their fourth corner of the game, but we've dealt with most of them. That one seems to be bobbling about a little bit. And the Stonewall players just can't get it away. It's come off at Adam Turner's rather large backside. And of course that puts him on a hat-trick. I don't think, I'm right in saying, that Stonewall have ever had a player score a hat-trick in a, in a gay games final. A real let-off there for Stonewall Football Club. A mix-up at the back. I think both full-backs for the... Uh, for the Stonewall Cubs have, uh, have had excellent tournaments this week. Oh, Scott Carroll needs to come, and he does. And there's the half-time whistle, and what an excellent half for Stonewall Football Club. Started. Anything happened? It's a nil-nil classic, the second half. That's as long as it stays a nil-nil classic, then uh, gold medal Zars, Alexis. Mm -hmm. These first five, ten minutes after half-time are always going to be quite important because a team with the deficit is always going to have to come out and try and get back into the game as quickly as possible. 
and we can't allow that to happen. It's a good header out by Adam Turner. And there's Rash looking for James Allen, who's really putting in a shift today. He seems to have been used more sporadically over the tournament in, 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 in shorter bursts, but Justin's shown a great faith in him today. But then again, he's got the experience of playing big games. You know, he's a Lions legend. It's almost as if Justin was saving his secret weapon for the final. Well, I wouldn't call him a secret weapon. I think that would be doing him an injustice. It can't be that secret a weapon if you scored 30 goals for the Lions on tour. So there. <laughs> I was just trying to put a bit of sexual content in there. Well, well I should have said saving his weapon. <laughs> mm. Well, Joseph's just arrived, so... That'll be just in. No, no, I did that. Finish, finish! So there's an opportunity here now on the edge of the box, well cleared by uh, by Joe. And whilst there's a pause in the game now, I think it's time to reflect on the captain, Steve Adam Turner. You know, I think he's shown remarkable leadership qualities in terms of how he's played and how he's conducted himself on and off the pitch. You know, there's, there's a player that's sort of flitted between the first and second team over the last uh, eight or nine years and has been a fantastic servant for the club. And that, I couldn't think of any better person to captain a gold medal winning side. It would be something that he would hugely appreciate and hugely deserved. Got an injury here for Joe in the centre of the park. Um, such a talented player who's been prone to injuries during his career. And I hope this one isn't anything more than a, a little knock. But I don't think any chances are going to be taken. So there will be a replacement. And it is like for like again as Raf comes back on to replace Joe. And, um, it's good to see Joe jogging off. Although knowing Joe, I think it's probably full pace. Okay. Whilst you're showing the game, I'm just keeping an eye on Joe and then the corner of my eye just to see. Yeah, he's just getting a little bit of spray. Looks like to a thigh area. <laughs> and this James Allen again. Past the goalkeeper, and he's got his hat trick. A hat trick for James Allen in the Gay Games final. History for Stonewall Football Club. Never before has anyone scored a hat trick in a World Cup Gay Games final for Stonewall Football Club. And again, it's come from a mix-up in the defence and classic striker play from James Allen, number 16 for Stonewall Football Club. A hat trick and it's Stonewall three unicorns nil. I've got goosebumps here. James is one of my best mates at the club, and to see this moment, this is absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful for Stonewall Football Club. I couldn't be happier. Come on, Alexis. Incredible, incredible. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I'm loving every second. He's had, he's had four chances. He's had four chances. That is all he's had in front of goal. And he's converted three of them. I mean, he is the archetypical Gary Lineker up front. And surely now the gold medal is heading back to, uh, to Stonewall in this D2 final. Great, great pressing there by Andrew Weisner. Or Weisner, sorry. But just to go back to James Allen, I mean, the achievement, the achievement to score a hat-trick in, in a Gay Games final. You know, he was in Cologne for the Lions, got a gold medal. He was in Cleveland for the Lions, got a gold medal. He's here in Paris with the Cubs, on the cusp of a gold medal, on the cusp of a hat-trick, on the cusp of history. What an absolute legend he has been for the club. If he is to perhaps start cutting down a little bit, what a, you know, what a climatic finish uh, to his tour career, if nothing else. I'm just so proud, so proud of him. You know, the term legend gets used a lot at football clubs. You know, Ian Drain's a legend. But this man here, 
you know, for what he's done for this football club, for the goals he's scored, for the work rate, but also for the quality of the human being. And I think that's very important to tell, you know. I don't think I've ever met anybody who's got a bad word to say about him. This would be known as the James Allen final. It really yeah. will. In the same way Budapest was known as the NASA final. Mm. In the same way that Cologne was known as the uh, Ian Drain final. And if you've got a final named after you, well, you've made it. Mm -hmm. But it's not over. Great challenge there by Dan Bambi. What a performance this has been by Stonewall. First class. Lennon here. Remember Cleveland four years ago? Well, I think this is a bit further out and I don't think we'll get the same reaction afterwards if it goes in, uh, Alexis. Oh, and uh, completely misjudged there by Big Jim in goal. Oh, he's onside here. Now, this is a real opportunity to get back into the game. And there's the consolation, what we hope, goal for Rainbow Unicorns. Well, there's always Danny Miller he can bring on, Eric. Yeah, I don't think we're at the desperation stage just yet. Just making friends, just making friends. Good football again by Rash. And this is what we want, Baker isolated in the 1v1. Plays it out right to Stephen Cross. Great little chance, wise out. 3-1! What a wonderfully worked goal by Stonewall. A proper team goal. 4-1, Eric. 4-1, sorry. 4-1 to Stonewall. And a little handshake celebration there from Cross and Rash. But it all started with Rash in the centre of the park. Lovely ball to Baker, who had the, uh, the vision to play the ball out wide and composure from Stephen Cross. Composure from Stephen Cross to cut the ball across the box and it's finished by Andrew Weezer. And that should be that. But what a great team goal by Stonewall Football Club. Adam Turner passing the captain's arm man to James Allen and this is a, go this is a goosebump moment. Adam Turner comes off having led the Cubs to a gold medal Dan Miller coming on, a great servant to Stonewall Football Club, a legend of the club, but special mention to Adam Turner. What a captaincy he's shown in this tournament. What an absolute gem of a captaincy he's shown. And there's Dan Miller. Yeah, huh? Charging his way through. Strong as an ox. Strong as an ox. Yes. Heavy as an ox. Mm-hmm. Oh, hang on. Robbie James Allen isn't quite finished yet. And there is the final whistle, and it's a gold medal for Stonewall Cubs at the Gay Games. A magnificent achievement for Justin, for Adam, and for the whole team. A thoroughly deserved gold medal, and really everyone at Stonewall Football Club should be so proud of what they have achieved. They have come through the disappointment of being put in a draw that in a very difficult group, the disappointment of the infamous eight minutes against West Hollywood, which didn't go our way, Justin rallied his troops, got them back up, they won a fantastic semi-final yesterday with a golden goal victory, and they have played an exemplary performance in this final today. Um, the star of the show, undoubtedly, the legend that is James Allen, an unprecedented hat-trick, an unprecedented gold medal for the Cubs at this division in the Gay Games. We have never done that before in the history of this football club. Stonewall Football Club making history again. Well done, Justin. Well done, Stonewall Cubs. Well done, Stonewall Football Club.